Thanks for staying with us. It's still game on. And yes, it's time to talk about nationals in football on the continent. Remember, the African Cup of Nations 2023 qualifiers is around the corner and several nations are beginning to release their various squad lists. And we have Sierra Leone being the latest to release the squad list. I'm talking about the African Cup of Nations 2023 qualifier against Nigeria. And it was quite a surprise for so many as you had Steve Coker, the captain of the side, included in the squad considering his battle with injury. But it's a good thing to see that that's um, happening. And let's see how, you know, the fair against Nigeria in that qualifiers. You also have Gambia. Yes, Gambia has also released their list for their qualifiers. And this time around, it's um, a 23-man squad um, right there for the Gambia. Remember, they made it to um, the, you know, um, quarterfinals, talking about their debut at the tournament um, at the last African Cup of Nations. And this time around, they will be taking on South Sudan um, on the 14th of June in Egypt. And the Scorpions, as the Gambian national team are known, um, are already, you know, um, gearing up for that match against South Sudan, as well as Congo, respectively, in their quest for a second consecutive Afghan ticket. Now, join us to discuss this in terms of squad selection. The player has to watch out for and what to expect from the match is for the money who is right there in Banjo, Gambia. And for the good evening, thanks for joining us on the show this evening. Evening. Nice to have you. Yeah, thank you so much. So, I mean, let me take you on quickly. You've seen the list. What do you make of the, the players invited? What do you make of the list itself? Do you think this squad is competitive enough to face the likes of South Sudan and Congo? Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me here. Um, uh, this is about the Gambia, of course. You know, um, we are a small nation when it comes to football, but now we are getting bigger, you know, because of the uh, recent uh, improvement that we have been making um, at the senior African level and, of course, at the junior level. So going into this game was speaking specifically for this game that is coming ahead against South Sudan. It's something that is, you know, very much needed. And looking at the squad that has been announced today, um, we are really much excited, you know, because some players are there, they are coming for the first time, but, you know, fans have been calling on, you know, to be added to the squad. And of course, they are here now, the likes of uh, Sebu uh, Khan of, of, of Swindon Town, and also Jacob Mendy of Wixam in, in England, you know. So, the squad, anyways, you know, after the release of the squad, fans reacted, you know, journalists reacted, you know. I can say this not up to expectation because everyone was like, you know, they want to see, you know, the squad being so much in depth and that it okay. can play against any team and the like, next two games. So, it is not up to expectation of the fans that, you know, the players that they expected to come, you know, did not come, you know. And also, you know, well, if you contact the coach, you know, he gave you justifications or reasons why these players were not on board. So, you know, the, the, the squad was not, you know, really did not meet expectation, but we think, you know, they can still uh, win the upcoming game, which is going to be so much decisive. If we win, we are going to be um, happy. Okay. In, Okay, let, let, let me butt in here quickly now. Um, looking at the recent okay. successes that Gambia has achieved on the field of play. The chance is to, to, to qualify for this. Okay, for me, I think it is. It okay, is, it is let me butt in, please. Uh, yeah? Okay, L looking at the recent successes that Gambia has recorded on the field of play, we talk about the last African Cup of Nations tournament. They got to the quarterfinals in that debut, it must be said. Now, you now had the under-20 team as well, making it to the next round of, um, you know, the second round, rather, of the FIFA Under-20 mm -hmm. World Cup that is ongoing, by the way, in Argentina. What can you mm -hmm. account those successes to in terms of developmental football in the Gambia? Uh, to be honest with you, um, the development of football in the Gambia is not something that everyone is proud of. You know, um, when you ask the public, when generally speak to you, they will tell you the, um, the honest opinion that football in the Gambia, the development of football in the Gambia is... Um, if it is 100%, you will say just 40% or 30%. So this current success of the teams, both national teams that you see, that is the senior national team and the under 20, is not any way connected to the success of football in, in the Gambia. Okay. Because the, success, the, the development of football in the Gambia is a little bit behind. 
And um, if you are to connect this success to that, no, we will say no. But we, what, what everyone has been saying is because of the spirit, you know, the footballers are showing, you know, their willingness, their patriotism to represent their country. It's why, you know, Gambia is on the map, is on the football map now. But not because of the development of football okay. in the country. That is why, you know, we are registering such success. But I think more need to be done when it comes to development to see more of this. Okay. Th thank you so much for your time on the show, for the money. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.